Oh, welcome back to tutorial number six is it yeah I think it's six so now we're gonna do if statement because if statements are very important like you need real practice with it so it would be boring if you were just doing the same calculated example all the time so we're going to be doing a different example that will apply probably apply to most of you so now we're going to do something with um grades and then you can um you can see your your grade average or something so let's put um let's put double grade and then we we're gonna do we're gonna use if statements to see if um the user's gonna input the grade so please input your number grade so they're gonna input a number and then we're gonna determine if it's a if the grade is an A, a B, a C, a D, or an F so what you're gonna notice about programming is that they go from the from left to right from the top thing to the bottom so it's not from bottom up from top to bottom so if I did an if statement and then I did if uh grade is greater than 80 then put whatever blah 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 um blah 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 then i put else if grade is uh whatever greater than 70 and blah 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 this is what happens if say my grade is 90 right say so input 90 and it checks and it's greater than 80 so it will do whatever is in here and it will skip every single else of other, other else of statement it doesn't matter even if it's true it will skip the whole else of statement so that's the thing you gotta notice so say you wanted to, to type in everything for every if statement so then you would put instead of else if you just put if so we'll check this if grade is greater than 80 then it will post whatever it did then it says oh it's greater than 70 so I should do whatever it's in the statement below so that's another thing you should learn so let me show you why I told you this so I'm gonna do show you a little program so put if grade is greater than 80 greater or equal to 80 then see out you got an A and then an line and then you put else if grade is greater than or equal to 70 see out you got a B and then N L else if grade is greater than or equal to 60 C out you got a C and L else if grade is greater than or equal to 50 C out you got a D and L else so if it's lower lower than 50 you got a F and L so let's just test that little program right here okay so input a grade 85 you got an A. So see, even though 85 is so first came here, it's like, oh, grade is, is greater than 80 because grade is 85. So let me write this to the screen. And since this else's statement, it's like, oh, I need to skip all this code and just go to the rest of the code. 
and as you can see the rest of the code is just uh, return zero so let's say I made all of these into if statements instead of else if so if 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 and let's just keep this else so this else is attached to this if so if this isn't true then this else will run So let's, um, let's put in the same grade 85. So say you got an A, you got a B, you got a C, you got a D. See, because it is not an else if. It's just checking if it happens, and if the statement is true, then it will execute. So say we want to do it the other way around. Instead of starting with 80, went down and going down to 50, you want to do it the other way around. So we put grade is greater than. So if grade is greater than or equal to 50 and you'll learn by the statement this these two things mean and so you put gr and grade is less than or equal to 59 then see out you got a D and then end L so basically it's saying if it the number you entered is 50 to 59 then it will print that off if you just put it like the format I did before so it's greater than 50 and I put else if grade is greater than or equal to 60 put okay let's just put C to save time and L else if grade is greater than or equal to 70 C out B and L else if grade is greater than or equal to 80 C out A so if I did like this and then let's run this so if I enter 85 again it's going to say you are the D because it went through my if statement and it's like oh 85 is greater than 50 so let me put you got a D then it's like oh these are else if statements let me skip all of this and go through the rest of my code so if you want to work efficiently you put that the and symbol and grade is less than or equal to 59 and if you put and grade is less than or equal to 69 and grade less than or equal to 79 and then anything greater than 80 so now you learn more than one way so like when you put this it will say A so now you just learn more than one way to execute the same program they both work the same way and if you want to put F you could put if grade is less than 50 then C O F or whatever well you have to put it down here else if so then that's just more than one way to do that in the program so I know this video is longer than normal and um, in the next video it will be short you'll be learning about loops and loop will make things more exciting and I'll use the calculator example again and we might calculate our averages and stuff like that just to make it a bit more exciting so I hope you like this tutorial and I'm out